Welcome into a college football national championship betting preview where we bring in Dave Mason from Bet Online, go over some of the uh, bets that Bet Online's taken in the national championship, also a little college basketball and throwing in a little politics uh, futures bets here. So let's bring him in, Dave Mason. How you doing today, buddy? Great, yourself? I'm doing good, man. Excited to get your uh, kind of information from the other side of the counter on this Alabama versus Georgia national championship game. Looks like you guys are hanging Alabama minus three and a half, Dave. Some other shops are out at four. So uh, is the majority of the bets here, what, on Georgia for you? Uh, no, the contrary, actually. Yeah, we were at four yesterday and four and a half, I believe it was the day before. Um, <laughs> end of the week, my mind's a little scrambled. But uh, now we, we took a little bit of sharp action on Georgia at four and a half. So we're down to three and a half. The action isn't too lopsided right, right now, but the public is on Bama. Uh, 64%, both 64% of the bets and 64% of the money is on Bama. I was just talking to our, our headlines guy, and he, he's thinking it's going to go back up. He thinks we're a little low now, but uh, he thinks it's going to go back up to four. That, that we'll see four and a half, but that all depends on, you know, how much more public action, if more public action comes in on Bama closer to kick you know there's a ton of early action on this game as expected I mean there's more money on this game than the, the than the uh wild card game this weekend and we're still what three nights away um so there's a ton of action but that being said I mean most, most of the action of course is going to be coming in over the next three days so that's going to move the line a lot you know more sharps will be piling in making their plays as the weekend goes through as well yeah, Dave, kind of, kind of unique situation with it going from four and a half down to three and a half. In your opinion, do you think this is kind of like the low water mark for buying on Alabama, or do you think we could see a three, possibly a two and a half, closer to kickoff? Nah, I, I, I doubt very much we'll see a three. Um, I, I doubt it very much. I think it's going to go back up. Um, yeah, yeah, hey, I, I, I anything that no, nah, I can't go to three. I, I doubt it very much, unless. Sharps, you know, once those limits go out, get up all the PPH shops over the weekend and everything, and they start pounding Georgia, but I, I don't see it now. Okay, you know, that, that makes sense. So it might be, if you're looking to buy on Bama, now might be the time sooner than later. Dave, what about this total at 44? Any, uh, any, anything we need to know about as far as uh, exposure to one side or the other for you? No, it, it, that's pretty even right now. Not a ton of early action yet on the total um so nothing really significant either way to talk about um you know a little bit more money is on the over but it's not significant and really haven't seen too much sharp yet so we'll okay. see there that, that that's that's to, to be determined yeah for sure and, and as far as i know you guys are putting out props and, and some really entertaining props with these uh big singled out games like the super bowl national championship um, it, it, when do y'all think that you'll have some of these kind of like entertaining, more out there props up on the site? Yeah, well, the, the standard props for the game are going up today. Um, some of them are already up, and that's like the more standard stuff. Players props are coming soon. But yeah, some more of the novelty stuff, that'll come a little closer to the game time, I believe. Um, you know, I'm coming up with some ideas. I'm going to send them over to the guys on the stage, see what they come up with. You know, it's not going to be anywhere close to like the McGregor fight or... Uh, or the um, Super Bowl, of course, but we should have some fun stuff up there. So have a look on Monday morning. Okay, well, keeping it on the on the college ranks with the uh, national championship here on Monday. What about college basketball coming into full flux? Do you guys have any kind of exposure one way or the other in the college basketball futures market with any team? Uh, uh, no, yeah, plenty of teams are in the red. The biggest the biggest exposures right now are Tennessee, Xavier, and Texas A and M, but. Uh, the, the highest bet counts are Duke, Wichita State, and Villanova. But, yeah, but they're, none of them are really in the red too much. Wichita State a little bit. But, um, but yeah, that, that, that's what we're seeing for the futures. But we got so much time to get buyback and everything, so we're not concerned with any of those yet. Uh, um, you know, college basketball is, is you know, it's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, good, it kind of so many seasons. You know, it starts out in November, and you think, Think, you would think people would be piling back. because I, I like college basketball, but you think people would be like me, just raring to go. And it, it kind of starts out slow, you know. And, and then uh, then January picks up with the conference, but it's still not, in, it's still not full flux until this, the football is over. That's when people really start piling into college hoops and, of course, March. So, you know, it's, 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 
it has that increase more than I think any other sport out there where it just starts slow and just increases, increases, increases. So um, we're still at that midway point where there's good action, but it's not that off the charts action yet. That's going to come, you know, once football's over and then, of course, into March. And Dave, in, in your opinion, for a sports better, is college basketball the best sport to bet as far as is your hold percentage on, on your side of the counter? Is it the lowest of any of any sport? Because there's so many games, so much for the odds makers to do. Do you find that your hold, hold percentage is smaller in college basketball than, say, col- major college football or the NFL? Well, you know, that, that's a you know, you, the question is for a sports better. I guess for a sports better, it's, it's what you're good at. You know what I mean? I mean, these guys, these guys that are specialists in college hoops, yeah, they beat the heck out of us because, you know, like you said, there's so many games. I mean, you know, it's so hard to keep up with all these teams, these directional schools and these teams you've never even heard of before. But somewhere in the middle of eastern Idaho, there's some guy that knows his team a lot better than you do. So, um yeah, but I mean, as for sports better, I mean, overall, well, the, the lowest hole percentage is hockey for us. I mean, you know, we have those reduced juice NHL lines. So, I mean, you know, that you just factor in the math and then it spits out that, yeah, you know, that's our, that's our lowest hole percentage. And baseball, too, that's tough for us because we have our dime lines go up to minus 185. So when you're dealing odds like that, that's just going to um, have that effect on your whole percentage but yeah from, from from that standpoint what is the most challenging college basketball is right up there just especially when you start talking about those totals and everything i mean you put start talking about those college basketball totals and that that just adds another element to the how tough it is i mean we we offer totals on on every uh college hoops game which you know not a lot of books do and a lot a lot of books books do that for a reason because they're so challenging i mean they, they'll move seven eight points from the opener i mean those guys waiting on those openers are we and that's the other thing we had the earliest openers in the industry so you you add that and the, and the most totals and yeah we got guys licking their chops and and uh, and, and they're just waiting to hammer these odds and and you know we take sharp action we let them rebet every 61 seconds and we're after an odds move so so yeah it's a challenge but you know we have a really good college basketball betting base so bring it on yeah, Dave. No, I love having you on because of that reason. I mean, BOL has some balls, you know, going out there with college basketball totals, first to market. But, uh, hey, man, back to uh, the futures of college basketball. We got Villanova plus 800, Duke plus 500. You mentioned that those were two of the teams that, that you've taken the most action on. Do you normally see that every year with the kind of the, the, the more favored teams getting bet more so than maybe some of the long shots in college basketball? Uh, yeah, I mean, from a, from a future standpoint, yeah, and, that, and that's that's across the board with NFL or baseball or anything. You know, the, the, those good teams are always going to take on the most bets, but that doesn't mean they're going to be your big exposure because I mean, all it takes is a few bets at at you know some team at fifty to one or forty to one to exceed you know five times the bets on the favorite at five to one. You know, so they will take on the most bets, but rarely. You're, you're there anything close to your biggest exposure. If hey, Dave, um, you know, brought you on mainly to talk about the national championship and a little college basketball. But when we were talking before, decided to throw in one of the cool things you do at Bet Online is, is throw in props on kind of crazy things. And one of them is politics. I thought maybe some, some people would be interested in, in some of the lines you guys got out. I, I see you got Donald Trump plus 200 to win the next election. But what I want to ask you is the Republican Party, you have plus 120. So you guys are kind of pricing in there that Donald Trump might not be the Republican candidate, I guess, just going off of your numbers, huh? Well, this this one's a tricky one, I think. I mean, first of all, I mean, Trump was as high as plus 300. And our guy that handles the politics, he's he's pretty anti-Trump. And uh, but... I mean, we have such a big exposure on Trump. I mean, it's huge. I mean, you know, just like every book in 2016, uh, people are pounding Trump and they're doing it again. I mean, there's three and a half times more bets on Donald Trump than the next closest guy, which is uh, Joe Biden, by the way. So, I mean, we have a huge exposure on that. I mean, if, if, the, if the election was today, props are closed today, and Trump won, I mean, it would be by far 
our biggest loss in our props in the history of the company. That's how big that exposure is. So, um, yeah, I know there's a correlation there with with the um, with the Republican versus Democrat, but you know, um, Democrats are favored for a reason. I think um, you know we. The, the people are betting the Democrats as well. I think like 65% of the bets are on the Democrats winning in 2020. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, and, you know, there's, there's, we, we're still so far out that there's still so much time and there's so much more action to come in that, you know, these guys can experiment a little bit more and, and maybe be off or, you know, something like that. So, yeah, I mean, so much more action is going to be coming in on this. I mean, that 20. 20- 16 was just ridiculous how much political action came in and if trump's in this again it will just be off the friggin charts i mean that was like something i've never seen before just the action coming in on politics it was just incredible and anything it did with donald trump color of his tie or anything was getting ridiculous action yeah no it's a fun thing to bet and just to to recap you got republican party plus 120 to win the election Democratic Party minus 125. And you said the Democrats are actually getting 65% of the bets. Are they also taking more of the money as well at minus 125 favorites, Dave? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's, it's not too much. And, and you know, there's, there's not a ton of action on the prop yet. So it's, it's not like the odds to win it all. It's not like the uh, presidential odds where we've seen a ton of action. And we just opened this recently. So um, there's not a ton of ton of action on on it yet so you know i don't want people to think you know be skewed either way on those numbers you know it, it's still a pretty small sample size on those yeah no that, that that makes sense and last one here on the on the politics i see you got hillary clinton plus five thousand at first glance that seems like a pretty big number there man um is, is there any thought process behind putting out a plus five thousand on uh on hillary uh well <laughs> I, I mean, I can't see her running again, man. She's a two-time loser, right? I mean, I, I, don't, I, I can't see it at all. She needs to go by the wayside. I mean, she's, she, she lost twice. She lost to Obama. She lost to Trump. She, she has to go bye-bye. I, don't, I think if she did run, there would be absolutely no support from the Democratic Party. And, and uh, you know, if it's, it's time for someone else. And, and, you know, if they want to go against Trump again, I mean... The, how can they do it with someone that he tore up? I mean, I don't get it. But uh, I mean, people are betting her, though. People are betting anybody. You can put odds up on me on there, and someone's going to bet it. But uh, <laughs> I'll put odds up on you maybe next week, and someone will bet it. But uh, it, it, we're not exposed. If she did win, if the odds closed today and she won, we'd be happy people with what we would win. So, yeah, people are betting it, but, but we're all good. Okay, and it sounds like on the Democratic side, you got Joe Biden as the low number, so he's the favorite to come out from the Democratic side. But um, no, no, good stuff on, on, on the politics, Dave. And I guess just to wrap it up, for the national championship Monday night, in your opinion, who, who do you think would win? And would you, would you lay the three and a half with Bama? Uh, yeah, oh, I'm laying the three and a half. What the hell? That being said, I'm not, I'm not a very good good college football handicapper so all you listeners out there don't go running to me oh you, you lost me money because i i'm not telling you what to bet just bet it with us all right man well uh he's dave mason from bet online follow him on twitter at dave mason bol a great follow got a lot of followers always giving out interesting information there on twitter hey dave what about sign sign up bonus wise uh for people looking to to get in on nfl playoffs this weekend also for the national championship on monday betting some of your props what do you guys got sign up bonus wise my favorite topic uh head on over to betonline.ag and sign up for an account we have all sorts of bonus specials we have a 50 percent welcome bonus the max bonus is 2500 we're, we're giving you a lot of money to max out your bankroll many books it's like two three hundred four hundred bucks that's kind of boring we're going to give you 2500 bucks max bonus promo code is new 2500 and in terms of conditions can be found at www.betonline.ag slash promotions all right, they damn up to twenty five hundred dollars, man. That's uh, very generous of you guys over there at Bet Online. Follow him on Twitter at Dave Mason B O L. Dave, thanks for the time. Best of luck this weekend, man.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.